Guys, we are taking Saving Grace on tour in 2023 in UK and Ireland. And you get a chance to meet me. We can have a few vodka cranberries together. Uh, We're going to be talking about your dilemmas and a live podcast with some exciting guests. So if you want your tickets, they're available this Thursday. So get by and I'll have a vodka cranberry ready. Guys, if you're watching this, make sure you subscribe. If you want to watch the whole thing, you can watch it on YouTube, Apple Podcasts or Spotify. Welcome back to another episode of the Saving Grace pod. You're not going to believe he's on today. Hold on, I'll give you a second to have a guess. Wrong, it's Alison Hammonds. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why am I clapping? <laughs> round of applause yeah round of applause oh great hello Alison um if people don't know you yeah which they will but if they don't give us a little summary of who you are do you know what I don't even know who I am yeah, I um right, yeah. so I'm Alison Hammond yeah. uh, I started off well I actually started off way way back when I was really young moons ago a bit boring but basically <laughs> I was in big, I was in big brother yep um 20 years ago mm. uh, 20 years I ago. only lasted two weeks it's like a 14 day holiday I literally went Booked on there, work. had yep. a lovely time, yep. came out. Next thing I know, I'm presenting on a daytime TV show called This Morning. It's I've been there be for 20 years. I was supposed to stay there for like two months and <laughs> it's ended up 20 years. You're part of the furniture And I'm still now. there. I love it. I'm going to be there with my Zuma frame, aren't so- I? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have to get the boot by then. I'd be like, we need to put her in a home, bless her. <laughs> it's so, time. It's time. Let it go. No. <laughs> Completely grand. <Yeah. laughs> but you know what? It's one of the best jobs I've ever had, mainly because I've never been bored. I used to get really you bored You can't from get jobs. bored. There's people shagging ghosts on the show. <laughs> so how could you sit there and be like, oh, it's another day at the office? Uh, well, you know, it's their stories. And that's what it's all about, really. It's just people's stories. It's a lot. And I love a story. You do love a story. I love a story. I love a bit of gossip. <laughs> I love a Me bit. Of, too. I, just, I just like hearing people's stories. Are you the kind of person that when an ambulance goes by, you think, wonder who's in there? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I, I wonder that. what the story is. I, in fact, I make up the story yes. on myself. In fact, if I'm Heart then, I'm the, I'll then be at home, pretend that I'm in the ambulance. <laughs> yeah. And I'll have a tip, tip, big tip top. You know them tip tops? And I'll pretend that. What's a tip top? Do you not know what a tip top no. is? No. They're like icicles, but they're in like little long tubes. Oh, right. Okay. I'm so old, aren't I? I I'm so old. <laughs> I'm like 47 Maybe years old. Maybe I'm uneducated. How old are you? 23. I'm right. Guys, I'm three years off. 50. But I still feel 23. And that's halfway to 100. <laughs> So not to scare you or anything. I haven't got, how many summers do you think I've got left? It could be 20. A handful. It could be 20. It could be 20 summers left. That's a weird way to put, because my my, um, dad is 75 and I sometimes think. How many summers has he got left? How many days has this man got left? (laughs) I mean, if he lasts to 85, that's 10 summers left. You're only going to see 10 summers. To be fair. Yeah, and global warming. We might not even have ten summers. Very true. We could die in a year. Very true. With that nice chat. But yeah, um, yeah, I'm like you. Yeah, I look at clouds. I look at registration numbers, (laughs) and I make words up. Oh yeah, I love that. I saw one the other day. It said muff, and I thought that's funny. (laughs) That's a good one. I didn't best. I saw one the other day, and it said gok. So I had to phone gok Gok and say, look. Oh, as you do, yeah. Just had to phone gok. Interesting. I'm like, look. Has he ever dressed you or anything? Um, has he ever dressed me? He's advised. In fact, he Ooh. gave me these earrings today. And great taste. So Gok was, was designing someone. And then I was like, God, what earrings should I wear? And he, <laughs> yeah. he told me to wear these earrings today. What a slay. So, yeah. Thank you, Gok. Thank you, Gok one. We've got Gok He's actually going to DJ my birthday party next year. Are you DJ? I don't know why I had to So that. he DJs. I nice. don't DJ. I'll nice. pretend. <laughs> Yeah. He puts a, 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 DV, a CD on and I'll pretend that I'm, a, I'm the DJ. <laughs> yeah, I love that. But he's doing my birthday party next year in February, so you're more than welcome to come. I'm there, don't worry. And it's my son's birthday as well. He was born on my birthday. Rude. That's so selfish. Yeah, I was about How to rude. say that. So yeah, he's literally going to be DJing our party. I'd have wait. crossed my legs, by the way, and waited till the clock strikes 12. <laughs> Would you? And then be like, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. No, fair enough. I'm talking I like I've had a child. now <laughs> on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> edit the birth certificate like how would they know they'll never know you mean? we're gonna go back to big brother right let's go back to big brother let's go back cast our minds back did you apply did you get scouted because i don't know how it was back in the although i loved big brother back in the day i wasn't allowed to watch it i had to sneak it on my tv really? yeah my parents thought like, you can't be watching that th- filth and i'd be like <laughs> 
Well, I've just watched them shag on TV. So. so back in the day, we used to have these things called internet cafes. So if you ever wanted to send an email, fucking hell, you'd go to the internet cafe. Right. You'd pay your money for an hour. Right. So it might have been two pounds. Mm. I have two pounds. So I have an hour's worth of internet. Rip Sit off. down and you do everything that you needed to do. So okay. I applied in that hour to Big Brother online. Then you wouldn't know until you went back to the internet cafe. Exactly. If I've got an offer for an audition. The anxiety. <laughs> It's and a lot, suspense, isn't it? Yeah. It's a lot. But um, I was actually in Tunisia at the time, repping. And I'd <laughs> never that. seen Big Brother. Never seen it. Right. When and you then, say repping, do you mean like holiday rep? Yeah. Really? We yeah, I was like an entertainer. Rep. I used to do like the bingo Love quizzes. That. Oh. And then the meal entertainer for two, in the 69. Yeah. Love that. I used to do the um, airport duties, you know. Wow. Welcome to Tunisia. <laughs> <laughs> and the currency here is Dina. <laughs> 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 I bet some people a few years later were like, was that Alison yeah. Kevin that just... Yeah. Please that? don't drink the water at no, the tap. No, yeah. Get you bottles. Will get shit. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so you get scouted. So get... Well, not that, scouted, I, sorry. I you get accepted. I get accepted for the audition. I go yep. back to England. Yeah. I do the audition, which was just weird. Because they were just making us like put Ikea shelves together and... Sorry? What, yeah. by yourself? Well, no, in group... That was a group activity. We had to put a shelf together. I didn't do anything. Okay. I just sat there. Yeah, I would have as well. I said, yeah, you're doing a great job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you do. Yeah. And then, yeah, I got through that audition. And then from that moment on, it was very, very um, like cloak and dagger. We had to get into the back of like blacked out vans and then go oh. and see the producers. Okay. And then they they came to me and I went back to Tunisia to rep. And they phoned me. Sorry, I did just burp there. That's fine. Apologize. You let it out. I don't think anyone Better knows. out than in. Um, and they came back to me in Tunis and said, we'd really like you to go into the Big Brother house. Are you up for it? And I was like, yeah, man. Oh, my YOLO. fuck, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? I say take what? opportunities when they come. So you and had to do the whole walkout with all the crowds when you yeah, go. Oh yeah, I'd have to take an emodium. I'd be projectile shit and really? everywhere. Really? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. I was really nerve-wracking. Yeah, yeah. So my, I lost all the saliva in my mouth. You know when your mouth oh, goes really dry? Yeah. And your lip kind of goes up there. <laughs> and you're yeah. like, oh. <laughs> Because you've got no saliva in your yeah. mouth. You're just like really overwhelmed. Yeah. Uh, and went into the house and I've never been so nervous in my life. Because also you've got to like, you don't know the people you're going in with. Yeah. And most of them, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, my social battery would have been gone in a week. So I'd be like, I've got to fucking leave. Do you reckon? Do you yeah. think you couldn't cope with that? Well, I'm doing this thing where I go into a house next week, actually, for two weeks, no phone. It's like Big Brother, but it's on YouTube. Oh, right. Are yeah. you? Yeah, I am. How are you going to cope with that? I'm not. Um, so, And <laughs> they won't allow me great. to take Xanax in. So I'm just going to be there like... But yeah. I think you'll enjoy it, you know. Will I? Because you go back to basics. You go back to actually talking to people like medieval times instead of like just it's all about the selfie and, and texting yeah. and stuff like that. you actually go back to basics yeah, like you true. have to use your own personality to get other people to like you god forbid <laughs> seriously god forbid. <laughs> any tips what tips would you give to me? go in yeah just be yourself like what an awful what an awful piece of advice <laughs> is that bad someone probably told like a cult leader in russia to be himself and look how that turned out well i the only reason i'm here today guys, yeah. is because you are yourself and you make me know? laugh fine that's, so that's my intro i'll be like alison happens <laughs> likes me so i'm here thank you <laughs> fine that's, that's my the intro. only reason i'm here yeah love it you know i don't like doing podcasts can you explain why because i become too candid yeah. and I tell everyone my business yeah and then that's in the day oh, email yeah. the next day well, and that's the reason you Alison, know I don't do them because I just relax I'm I need now. a blue tick I know you're gonna I know you're gonna yeah. pull it out of me a daily mail take the shit because <laughs> I need a blue tick I am sick what do you mean I haven't got one yet get your blue tick today oh well do it then stop flirting serious? with me Alison are you actually joking yeah no I'm being deadly sick si yeah <laughs> not, that's not the only reason I invited you on hey <laughs> Well, I'm sick of it. Why have you not got... I don't understand why you've not got one. Pass. Have you got an agent? Yeah. But they no, won't they give me it. one because all of the articles are about saving grace. So if any fucking writers are watching this, <laughs> separate us, please. Although I had one in the Daily Mail. I'll have a word with him. Thank you. Me you let him and know. the blue tick person. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Blue Tick. I'll wake up tomorrow and be like... You'll see a blue tick. I'm heart attack. I'll be all over I'll it. be in recess. I can't wait. Literally, I'm I'm on the case now. Fine, okay. I'm all over it. Well, <laughs> I'm horny. Thank you. Um, so, Big Brother, I remember vividly seeing a clip of you falling off a table or breaking a table. Breaking. That's always on TikTok. Yes. Like, 
I don't know permanently. why. I why don't know. Keep either. haunting me. Well, I didn't know you were on Big Brother. And then they were like, Alison Hammond or Big Brother. And I was like, no, she must have been like presenting it. And you were actually on it. And I was like, oh. and this is when it was like the quality shit. <laughs> so it was 20 years ago. You don't know. I don't know. You haven't got a clue who I am, have you? <laughs> I had to do a wiki search beforehand and thought, all oh, right. Yeah. That is hilarious. That's mental. Yeah, I started off on Big Brother. Were you before or after Nikki Graham's season? Before. Before. Okay. Way before. That's how There's I no tell social time. media. No social media whatsoever. Not even Bebo? No. Habbo? No. Imagine that. You just come out and... Just, you just think you're loved. Oh my God. You, oh my God. Yeah, because you, you know, you come out of the Love Island yeah. and you're like, oh, I've got a meal. You're just there, like. Well, just you just go out and everyone's like, ah, Lisa. I got mobbed. As soon as I came Richard, out, I got mobbed. Was that a bit weird? Kind of liked it. <laughs> me, I'd be like, I'd never had so many hands on me. Yeah. <laughs> I could do this again. Lower. Yeah. It was at Oxford yeah. Street, actually. I went to go and buy an outfit and then I was. Like, I literally had to get security to come get me out. <laughs> it was like, there was people shouting through the window. Everyone wanted to come say like hello. Britney Spears. Yeah, it was a bit weird. Well, I love but, that. Uh, yeah, that's never happened since, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. No one cares now. They're like that. Like it's Alison. Today's sponsor of the podcast is, of course, Jack Wills, my favourite brand. I love them and I will probably die wearing Jack Wills. So that's a nice thought. Anyway, today I'm wearing the Velour tracksuit. I've got the top, I've got the bottom. Uh, it's a winter staple. Do you know what I mean? They're probably all wearing this in the North Pole. It's warm. It's good for layering. Uh, and I also look like Sporty Spice. So... That's never a bad thing. Anyway, if you want to get your hands on this or any other of the Jack Wills items, you can have 10% off all full price items using the code SAVINGGRACE10. So again, Jack Wills, go on the site, any full price items, you can get 10% off using the code SAVINGGRACE10. But like, do you live like locally? No. Okay, I'm fine. still in Brum, just on the outskirts Are of Birmingham. You? Yeah. Bold. So I just commute. So I keep my feet grounded, babes. You know just a mean? humble girl. Humble yeah. pie. Very humble. Just Love can't it. afford it. It's so expensive. fucking telling me, yeah. Do you live in London? No. Although I want to. I want to branch out. Because yeah, I have where to... you could get a flat together. Oh my, could you imagine? I don't think you could deal with my mess. Really bad. Yeah. I'm used to it though. My son's very similar. True. This is true. And you sent me... A... So let's get this sorted, right? Yeah. So I sent Alison a voice <laughs> note, right? I thought... She won't open it if it's a message. So I'll send a voice note, right? <laughs> I was like, <clears throat> you're right, Alison. I, I redid this 40 times as well. I was like, did you? Yeah, I was like, Alison, no. You're right, Alison, no. <laughs> hey, Al. And my boyfriend was like, can you send it? I was like, mm, hi, Alison, you're right. Um, you don't ask, you don't get. Would you like to come on the podcast? Just some awful thing. And then it was, it just wasn't. Radio a, silence. Yeah, it was radio silence. And I thought, you know what? Never meet your idols. And I'd read it as well. Yeah, yeah. That was soul in the wound. Well, do you know, it wasn't until I spoke to my son, because obviously he's your generation. Well, he's 17. Great taste. And I, <laughs> basically, he said, she's seen that you've read that, mom. I went, you're joking. <laughs> she knows I've read it. He was like, yeah, she's seen that you read. Mm. I said, what do you think? Do you think I should do it? She's quite funny. And he was like, mom, I'm telling you now, she's brilliant, <laughs> do it. I goes, all right, then I'll send her a message and make out like I didn't see a message. It was making went, no, me- no, she absolutely knows. So I, you were like, who do I think I am? <laughs> and I was like, I love it. I love it. Who do I think I am, man? Not replying Alison to you. Alison Hammond, it's fine. Like, if my son loves you, I love you. I... Thank you, thank, thank you, son. Thank you, Aiden. Thank you, Aiden. I was like, do you want to share the name? I didn't know the, the ground, yeah, so I yeah. just said son. He's out As there. He, does he ever, like, because obviously you're his mum, that's yeah. how it works. But does he think it's really sick that you're his mum? Or is he a bit like, oh, mum, that's really embarrassing? No, I think he thinks it's really sick that I'm his mum. Yeah, He I'd thinks agree. I'm really cool. Wow. He do, I go home, he's like, you do realise you've gone viral. <laughs> <laughs> you're like I know I like this, babes are you happy with it yeah he says you're so funny mum he just gets it he's oh, so lovely oh that's so cute he says you're so funny thank yeah. god you've got a good relationship because yeah, if my really mum was in the public eye I'd be like you've got to move out <laughs> I can't be living really? with you while you're doing that yeah 100% I think he quietly thinks I'm quite cool I think he gets girls from this, you know. Do you reckon? Yeah, because girls... Don't say that. <laughs> no, I would... Yeah, sorry. My bad. Uh, but I'd be like, if I was at school with your son, yeah. I'd be like, if I get in with this boy, 
I'm eating our cinnamon. There's been a couple of times he's, I've had to do a couple of pictures with his girlfriends. I, multiple well, they're girlfriends. friends that are girls. Well, that's so always what they say, yeah. He's got them all lined up, hasn't he? <laughs> Dirty In fact, girl. he had a girl over the other day and she really can't drive because she <laughs> drove into my gate. <laughs> you know, you're like, oh my gosh, I've got to still be nice. It's just great. <laughs> Absolutely fuming because she actually broke my gate. Oh, she! Oh, what so speed? now they're, they're Did she permanently drive into open. It? So my security is terrible because you can just come into my house. You need a man with a and gun she was or like, something. She texts me though and she says, "I'm so sorry about the gates." She went, "Do you want me to pay anything?" I was like, "Yeah, yeah." No. I was like, "No, it's no problem, so you darling. Voice. Don't be silly. It's just an accident. A friend of Aiden's, a happen. friend of mine. <laughs> <laughs> Voodoo doll These of her life. These things happen." Fuck her. Yeah. No, sorry, that was really rude. No, don't. Don't. You're not allowed, Aiden. I love her. No. <laughs> yeah, Aiden. Oh my God. So like when he gets a proper girlfriend, mm. are you scared of when he gets a girlfriend? I'm not scared. I just I just hope she's nice. Yeah. And, you know, and not kind. pregnant. And not pregnant. Yeah. However, I would like another child. Really? And I'd be happy to look after it. I could have the baby and I'll go about and do what you got to do and I'll look after you'd the baby. You'd be the adoptive mum. Oh, I'd be all over that. You'd take it on this morning. <laughs> yeah. What? You'd be like, don't, like don't this is speak. my grandchild. Has it got mum and dad Like, now? you know, when people get married, they have a front of an OK magazine. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, you'd be like that with the baby. Look. I'd love it. Oh, I I'd want an OK spread. <laughs> Don't know what doing. I just hope she I get on with the woman because obviously I want to be part of this child's life. Well, some people's mum in laws, mum in laws, mums are like psychotic though. They don't like you dating their sons. Like it's a weird thing. No, I just uh, my my son is so beautiful. I, I, I want to share that. He looks like you. I want him to share it out. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It spread deserves it. to be spread. Yeah, yeah. Just keep him going. I just want him to be happy, ultimately. I want oh. someone kind who respects him and someone okay. who's just nice. What we're going to do is we're going to do an ad. Okay. An advert for your son, yeah. girlfriend. What do, you want, what do you want from them? What do you want them to be? Um, it's going to need somebody yeah. who's quite patient, mm. who could probably tidy up after him in the mornings. Yeah. He's a little bit you know, rough in the bathroom. He leaves his towels on the bathroom floor. Yeah, what you were going to say. Sorry. So, <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. Um, but he's very kind and he's really nice and he's he's funny. He's really funny. So bit. I need someone who's going to compliment that really. I'd like someone funny. You know, it doesn't matter if you're a little bit ugly or <laughs> a little bit larger. He's used to we larger can women. We fix that. Oh. Yeah. He likes larger women. A bouncy babe, if you will. Love that. Yeah, curvy. Yeah. Curvy girl. Okay, fine. Um, just someone who's, you know, going to love him unconditionally. Hopefully, yeah. Like I do. Oh, <laughs> applications are open. They close Friday, 7pm. Get your votes yeah, in. I've never actually thought about who I'd want for my son. It's a really good question. You're yeah. very good, Grace. Thank you. Yeah. I, it's what I'm here for. You should for. do this for a living. Oh, you're fucking telling me. <laughs> Seriously, get me on this morning. <laughs> no, I don't have the mouth for that, actually. We'd have to We'd have to wash your mouth no, out a little bit. No, something would you happen. I'd be like, shit. <laughs> And then, because I would saw a hundred, if something went wrong, I'd be like, fuck. It's ever so funny, but since I've been on TV, I can just shut down the swearing. It's like, you know how you don't yeah. swear in front of kids? Well, I don't swear in front of my parents. Well, I'd probably you swear in front of a child. You see like how I'm here now? Have you yeah. heard me swear? No. When I was off camera, how many times did you hear me swear? Bit too many. <laughs> Many. Exactly, for some out. reason, I just shut it down when I'm on Fine. TV, That's on screen, I don't know why. I think, to be fair though, I feel like if I was on a set, I wouldn't be sat there like, you. I feel like I would be like, hello. If he was live as well. If I was, well, I can't see any contact, so I'd be like, focusing on what the hell's being written on that cue board thing. Have you not thought about laser? <sighs> I don't want to be Come blind, on, let's be honest. And apparently you can smell it. Smell the burning. That is true. Retinas. I had laser. When Did I came you? out of Big Brother, I got offered laser for free. So I thought, <laughs> hashtag yeah. Hashtag gifted. I'm doing, <laughs> yeah. didn't even have to do a hashtag because there was no <laughs> social media. So yeah, I, all I had to do was write how amazing the operation was. But Jesus. you do, you do actually smell yeah, yeah. the burning eyes. Maybe I'll get, you know, when you have a cold and you get those little <laughs> things. You, the, the tablets no, do you know you what no you've got they, they clamp your eye open don't nice. they nice you're selling it to and me and then I had to, I said is there anyone who could hold my hand <laughs> I was so like I felt so vulnerable and then the nurse came over and she held both my hands and then I felt alright there's no pain or anything is there the, um, I thought there was pain but there wasn't Great. no okay. oh. I was there going <laughs> he was like you alright I was like yeah <laughs> <laughs> it was like I was having a baby. It was like, it's so scary. I was, I was like, how long is this going to be? He says, right, at this point now, you're going to go blind. I was like, for how long? And they were like, literally a minute. This is us laser. Oh, you go blind? 
you just can't see for a minute. So while they're lasering it, you can't see. I was like, light headed. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. And then you can see. It was bizarre. As soon as yeah. I walked out, I could see the registration number. I was like, I'm I do need that. Cause sometimes I put my glasses on and I go, fuck me. I couldn't even, I didn't even clock that. I couldn't see. <laughs> and then you put them on, you're like, wow. Do you know what? I think you'd, you'd find it amazing. Cause you like just little things like going swimming. You know, you haven't got your glasses see on. The you fish. can suddenly see everything. It's true. See yeah. if there's a shark about to bite my ass. Exactly. I do need to see that. <laughs> there's not much to bite, to be fair. <laughs> this morning. <laughs> you've been on it 20 years. Can you believe it? I actually, I can't believe you've been on it 20 years. Yeah. That's like, that's a shit. But it's not like I'm there every single day. you got to remember that. That's true. I'm just there ad hoc. Not like Holly and Phil. They are, no. they are glued to those seats. No, literally I come and go. I do my own little thing. <laughs> so it's been a nice job really. It's not like I'm there all the time. Some weeks I might not work. Did you ever question when you got offered it? Do I want to do it? Do I not want to do it? Or was it what, a straight in the beginning, yes? beginning? Yeah. Oh, I was straight in. Yeah, no, fair I enough. was straight in. I was I'd like, be too. I'd be how like, much? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When do you I'm want me to start in? No. <laughs> That's bad. You know, it, obviously, it, it was an opportunity. I was working in the cinema before I started Big Brother. I was oh, abroad yeah, well, and I was working at the cinema. Like that. And I just thought, you know what? This is an opportunity I can't refuse. Yeah. And plus, I'd, I'd done acting before in the past when I was younger. And I just thought oh. this would be great. Wow. I know. Okay. So I was over the moon. <laughs> It was a great job, though. Your in first the ever one, though, were you absolutely petrified? Oh, I was so scared. Yeah. I was, like, shaking. I'd have to have a vodka cranberry I think before. I actually dropped the microphone pack in the toilet. So I can remember the poor sound man was like, that's going to cost a lot of money. I went, I'm so, so sorry. And, like, I dropped the microphone pack in. in so I, didn't really, I forgot that it was on my, my back. So I was like, I, would say. I ain't got a clue. Not a clue. I know. What is the best moment since being on the show that you can remember? Oh, there's been so many, Grace. There's so many lovely moments. Obviously, I love the moments that kind of go viral. Yeah. Those are great. Yeah. Um, but little, little things like winning the NCA awards that, with everybody and like oh, then getting drunk with everyone and having Do a great you actually night. go back on the show after a whole night of drinking? Well, I did this week. <laughs> I would not be showing up. I did up. this week and honestly, it you was You and tough. Dermot were fucked. Yes. Dermot was swaying. <laughs> I thought, what on earth is going on? He was My like eyes were the stinging. Like yeah. I was like, the glam team, you're going to have to pull out some seriousness now. Don't even mess around. Just it's get that big. makeup on. But I just thought, you know, it's two hours. You know, you got you got to enjoy your life. Two yeah. hours is Sleep a long when you time die. hungover. I tell you that. <laughs> I'd be doing breathing exercises. I don't. I still don't think I'm recovered. I'm still no. missing sleep. Well, oh, I don't know. Well, didn't you think uh, that you'd won the awards? Do you know what? With the, so I was up for an NCA for best presenter alongside Anton Deck, iconic, of course, Bradley Walsh. Graham Norton and everyone was going how are you gonna win and I was like stop it I hate making when, me yeah. feel like I'm gonna win I was <laughs> like I was actually like I was actually dreaming you big your speech. I was like, you were like I, was, yeah. <laughs> I was like shall I write a speech no 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 <laughs> just chill out anyway but it was getting to the point they were like you've won you've absolutely won I was like stop it guys always on to deck <laughs> anyway the moment came and the the guy who presenting the award went uh, and I heard Alison, I swear <laughs> to God, I heard Alison. So I then looked at, <laughs> I then looked at Dermot and I went, did they say Alison? And, and then he looked at me and he went, no. <laughs> and then we just burst into no, laughter. Well, that's what they but cut But then we you must have looked like we were laughing that it was Anton Deck who we won. We weren't laughing at that. We were laughing at the fact that I had this no, mistaken but, but identity. It's a good thing you asked because I'd have just got oh, yeah, up. No, a million percent. Got... Thank God. <laughs> Thank God I didn't believe my own hype and get stand up. I actually yeah. say, babe, did, did they say Alice and I? And he went, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> at least you got to do a speech in the end though. It was so funny. So then after yeah. that, this morning won the award for best Cause. daytime TV. Yeah. And then Philip throws me under the bus and says, Alison should speak. And I had nothing. I had nothing. And You're then I just thought, putting it out like, I was like, I should have won one of these. Ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what am I saying? Next year, so embarrassed. We'll all be voting. Don't no, I, I will never believe that I will ever win one of those awards ever again. I'll just sit down and go, chill out yeah yeah well the, i always get scared if i ever won an award look at me when i win an award like you will that. one time um you know when you have to do the walk up yeah. awful like everyone's Cringe. looking at you you got yeah. a, and then you've got to walk up the stairs and it is so embarrassing and then you've got to do a speech i'm Imagine getting anxious like thinking about it. it like if you miss anybody out like oh. if i had to do a speech the people that 
I'd have to remember a lot of people. We'd be going for the next 40 minutes. You'd be going mean? glam team. <laughs> They'd be turning up the yeah. music. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Booting you off the stage. Oh, wow. Boring. You got your award. Do one. <laughs> now people would be fuming if they forgot that though but some people really go for it they're like I'd like they to really thank. do I just think you just want to go up there and go thank you thanks Bobs <laughs> three shots all night see Sorted. you later yeah That's, I mean yeah. It's ama- it was amazing to be nominated you know I was the only female black female to be nominated in that category that's also it was taking huge. the piss a little bit though isn't it i well, mean last year i was nominated but that's the first time a black person had ever been nominated in that category that's mental and that's in 20 well 2021 like to say i was the first black person to be nominated in that was Jeez. unbelievable so for me to have a seat at the table to be nominated it's i know a big it's thing weird anyway. but it's ma- if you look at the bigger picture yeah it was massive i love it Fucking next year, Alison. You never know. And do you know, know what? I'll be sat there somehow. I'll sneak in. I'll jump the fence. <laughs> I, feel like I'm rooting around. I love it. I actually voted for Ant and Deck, you know. Did you I thought bloody it'd be a bit cringe. voted for the Ops? It'd be a bit cringe if I voted for myself, wouldn't I, it? I'd be buying and all the phones from Deck. free, like. <laughs> Would, Would you? I? Yeah, 100%. <laughs> Someone's got to fucking vote for me. It's got me. I should have phoned you. Yeah, you should have. I know. I should have answered your message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's what happens when you don't answer. Thank you. Karma. <laughs> Would you ever do the uh, I'm a celeb? So, obviously, you haven't done your research because I've done that. <laughs> have you? Have you? <laughs> have you actually? Yes. Did you jump out of the plane? Yeah. No, I didn't jump out of the plane. So, oh, okay, fine. And not a lot of people know that I've done I'm Wait, a celeb. Wait, what the fuck did you do I'm a celeb? <laughs> Shall I tell you the truth? Yeah. I went in halfway through. So imagine everyone's oh, bonded okay. and they put me in halfway through. So I only, last, I only did what like year? 10 days. Oh God, it's going back about eight years. I think I'll it's 2014. Really I haven't watched I think, it since I, think it's I was 2014. about 10. Really? So yeah, maybe I should have done my research. A little that bit. That didn't but come you know up what? though. It's okay. I, I know you don't know who so I am. So what, you ate? And that's fine. Did you? <laughs> yeah, this whole episode, I swear to God, I know who Alison is. But so you had to eat what? Kangaroo cock or what? No, I didn't. I had some drinks. Some cockro- cockroaches. No, thanks. Cockroaches. Uh, yeah, drinks. It was awful. I was gagging. Yeah. Just Google it. It's very bad. The, really? Yeah. It's, it's not good. I, I don't think I can Imagine do it. gagging on the drink and you have it to drink the whole of it. It's like a pint well, worth. Well, I can't down a pint of anything. Really? Anyway, yeah, I can't down drinks. Don't know why I get well, full that's how very I quick. Got, um, that's how I came off the show because it was the... Oh. One of us had to dr- drink a whole glass of like mealworms and stuff like that and right. I just said I'm done I can't do it <laughs> that would be me I just can't do Get it me out of you it. definitely can't do it no. no I can't do it and then the other person couldn't do it um Kayla her name was Kayla couldn't do it so then they went to the public vote and I got voted off fuming <laughs> <laughs> to be fair though I feel like I was over the moon I was like oh really I'm going back to a six star hotel <laughs> for the rest okay. of my time yeah. <laughs> I like I'd get a tan though and I don't tan, so I feel like I'd be if you were in there long enough, you could tan. No, you can't. It's apparently like, really? There's trees everywhere, and also they've got this canopy that's like for the lighting because it's also filmed. So you're not really tanning. Oh, so you don't really feel not like really. you're in a forest. No, you feel like you're on like a camping film set, oh. but you can't see the cameras with rice and beans or whatever. Rice it is. and beans, which was how. But we had Gillian McKeith in there, and she smuggled. <gasps> Fuck off. She smuggled, the, the yeah. Thing. She smuggled in oh, a load of salt and a load of like seasonings. So she actually made the rice taste so good. D- what? She smuggled them in her pants. Well, I don't know if I'd want to be eating that. <laughs> no, seasoning. but it was in a bag. Oh, okay. And fine. you know when you're desperate yeah. and rice bland is it's like awful. prison. Yeah, yeah, fine. She put a little bit of salt on, a little bit of, you know, per- all purpose seasoning. It tasted amazing. I was like, this is the best. I can't. And then she got that. caught. Uh, and they took it off us. I was devastated. Well, she, because obviously she's known for the, the faint. Do you yes. think that faint was real or not? No, it was no, fake. I agree. That'd be me too. <laughs> it's so obvious. Well, she's going back on, isn't she? This year. Yes, so they're doing like a... A reunion A thing. reunion or something. I don't know what they're doing, but it's in South Africa, isn't it? Fuck that. I think Joe Swash has done it. I'm not sure. Oh, he'll be fine. Oh, he's amazing. He'll I wonder who's won though. Is it filmed already? I think they've filmed it already. Yeah, it's done. Really? Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Oh, I didn't even yeah, know. it's all filmed and I think it's coming out next year. Where have you been, Grace? Uh, to be fair, what am I? Who am I? Saving Grace. What do I know? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> so I wanted to ask, what was your most embarrassed? Because I've known 
you've had some blips on this morning, right? Yeah, you pushed you. a man off into the sea. That wasn't great. That was incredible. Um, Derma accidentally called you a bitch live on air. <laughs> that was incredible as well. What is your most embarrassing moment? Embarrassing moment will be the stuff that would never make it to air. Oh, really? Oh, there are a lot of embarrassing moments. Oh, like interviews? Oh, absolutely. Right. Interviews that you've probably never seen before. Mm. That I would never talk about because we didn't, we didn't put it to air. Did I just dribble? No. I'm so sorry. I'm getting old, you know. I'm nearly 50, you know. You do realise that. Your teeth back in, Alison, please. I just randomly <laughs> dribble sometimes. Apologies. <laughs> Oh, this is the best of us, it's fine. Love that. <laughs> Things are changing. We'll cut to me for that clip, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> so, just the interview, then. There's an interview. I can't tell you who it is because obviously I don't want them to get out. But yeah. There's an interview where <laughs> they just were Tomorrow on the sun. They weren't loving me at all. Oh. And they didn't give me anything. I, well, I was going to ask. that was embarrassing. Is there someone that you... Is there people that you've had to meet and stuff who just were not nice? Absolutely. Re a few or yeah. like... Okay. Maybe three in my Ooh. career, which is not that bad. Are we... I just want to narrow this down. <laughs> actors or singers? Um, actors. Actors. I knew it. I knew yeah. it. And those interviews never got to air. Oh my God, no, because I wouldn't know what to do. If someone wasn't like giving me it, I'd be a bit like... If someone was just giving you yes, no answer. Yeah. What I, would you do? I'd be like, do you want a vodka cranberry or something <laughs> to loosen you up? I don't know what. So, I mean, sometimes interviews start a little bit like that. You can feel it's this is a little bit cold. Because well. it's But normally, the Hammond, I'm talking about myself in the third person, <laughs> she normally yeah. can, you know, bring them around a little yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. But I'm not I perfect, feel, babes. No, I mean, none of us are. <laughs> not perfect. And sometimes it throws me. If someone's a little bit cold with me, I'm a little bit thrown. Yeah. I like love and joy. Oh, It's all about the love and joy for me. Peace if I've got love. love and joy, I'm all over it. Yeah, I appreciate that. What's your favourite interview? <laughs> oh, my favourite interview. I did like that Harrison Ford interview. Just because it's a little bit awkward. It's a little bit love that. wrong. It's a little <laughs> bit... A bit like That's yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do, you do... Remind me of myself. Oh, I thought you were going to say Harrison Ford. You're a bit Ford, YOLO, so yeah. Right, yeah. YOLO. <laughs> Rock up. What do you want? What drink do you want, Al? Yeah, put it in there. <laughs> Sit down. Woo. Well, I don't know what they were thinking when they gave me this podcast. They're like, are you going to do anything? I was like, no. <laughs> I'll just show up. Hope for the best. One day it'll bite me Literally, in the arse. Though. Do you reckon? Yeah, one day I'll get a guest on <laughs> and I really will just have done the vaguest <laughs> shit. And I'll say something and they'll be like, you don't know. And I'll be like, I it doesn't don't. matter though, does no, it? Like you should be it. able to talk to anybody. If yeah. there was a stranger, you could, you know, claw it out of them. Well, I don't know why you do research for anybody, really. Well, sometimes it's a bit much because you've got all of it in your head. It's a lot. Yeah. Do you have to do that before interviews, research? Yeah, I do, oh, but I just don't oh. do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't either. I'm like all over this brief, guys. All right, what's going on, Dirt? <laughs> yeah. Cut. I'm like, are you across this term? Fantastic. I've got your back. Because I'm not. <laughs> Have you ever sworn live on air? Never. No. I like I said, it's just a natural thing that I just don't do. That's mental. Yeah. But then again, if I was like Holly or Phil, I probably would have sworn. But I think it's good with yours because it's not like the whole show. Yeah. If it was the whole show, I'd be like, because you can forget yourself in the show because it goes on for like two and a half hours. Yeah, it does. You can. <laughs> <laughs> It goes on for two and a half hours. So you have to be concentrating. Yeah. You have to be on high alert. Do you know what mm. I mean? Yeah. But if like you. a brick fell on my foot yeah. and I said, shit, I think I could be excused for that. Do you get really in trouble though? Like for it? Like, do we, you think Dermot got told off when he called you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he got told off because it was an accident. And yeah. And probably... you could tell he was like, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> And I had apologised anyway. I yeah. apologised on his behalf. So sorry about that. Because well, I really was. I was like, the wrong thing. They were like, they hate each other. <laughs> they, they say no, that? no. Everyone's like, Dermot and Alison, Big B. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Everyone thinks you hate I each other. I can't tell you how wrong they actually I are. I was going to say, it's like, like you're each other. I love the fact that people think that. Uh, yeah, no. I'm going to keep that going. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Gonna, you're you're going to turn up. They think we hate each other. Let's do a couple of things on the telly, like stand further apart. 
<laughs> like we're still each other. <laughs> like we're still distancing you over that there. That is so awkward when you were social distancing on TV. As oh, if you're so not going to mix back on the set anyway, though. It's like I kind of liked it then. I'll oh, tell you the you reason did. why. Because yeah. I'm quite a uh, rotund presenter yeah and Dermot is so little I can't you couldn't really tell that I was that big when we were separated <laughs> now we're together I was like oh my gosh the size of Al but I'm owning it now I'm taking up the space and I just think this is it fuck you deal Dermot. with it <laughs> yeah <laughs> but Growl, ser- get out seriously my way. I love the fact that they think we've got beef no so it's in the papers I love the fact that they mean <laughs> that's hilarious so I don't read the papers but honestly I can't <laughs> tell you how much I love that man I can't oh. tell you. He's so funny. Maybe you could date him. I think he wants to. Oh. <laughs> I'm only joking. I agree. <laughs> I'm only joking. Oh my God. Could that's you so imagine good. a plot twist? <laughs> plot twist. <laughs> Alison no. and Dermot. No, don't be silly. He's married. He's married. Well. I think she wants a bit of me. As she should. Oh, you could be like monogamous. Is that what it's called? Or polyamorous? <laughs> polyamorous. It's 2022. Well, it's like he's got two wives, isn't he? He's got yeah. D and then he's got me. He's as got a work telling. wife. He's got a work wife. Yeah. And I am like a wife. Yeah. <laughs> Do the fucking dishes, damn it. Dark. But yeah, he's honestly, I can't tell you how much I love Dermot O'Leary. He's amazing. He's so funny. Well, we cleared we up the room. We went to rooms. watch a screening of that Black Adam oh, yesterday. Oh, I saw that on your story. I didn't know what it was for. Yeah, we was just went for a screening. I mean, who puts sofas in a screening room? Of someone very I smart. I can't believe they do. I fell asleep. Honestly, I didn't say anything. <laughs> it was that good. Yeah. I didn't say anything to Dwayne. Johnson, of course that I fell asleep, not. But not I did fall rock. asleep a little bit, yeah, like for about ten minutes. But I still got the, I'd still caught the up. Gist. It was fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Not very good in cinemas. I don't like cinemas either. I just, I just want to go to sleep. It's yeah. so cosy and, and warm. the vibrations of yeah, it all. And it's, it's like nice a, a and hug. No, cinemas are not for me. No, I agree. <laughs> Do you like horrors though? I'm not a horror person. I'll tell you the reason girl. why. Tell it me. scares me. <laughs> I it's haven't heard that scary. before. Yeah, <laughs> it's too scary. I don't want to go home and be scared and be thinking, oh, "I've locked the doors." I don't want. I, <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be feeling like that. I just want. I like musicals. Oh, I love a musical. Cool. What's your favourite? West Side Story. Ooh, I love a bit of Wicked. Les Miserables. Oh, what do you like Wicked? Oh, Wicked! I absolutely the, love the witch popular. and shit. <laughs> I want to be popular. That's it. Love if this it. morning goes tits up, you can just go on there. <laughs> Do you Fine. Think? Yeah. I, I just Sold. love joy. That's all I <laughs> yeah. want. Joy. joy when I watch you, it's joy. It's joy. I want joy in my life. Who wants who wants horrors? Not me. It's horrible. Are you know literally me, on yeah. edge the whole time yeah, and the music sick. Jack? Exactly. Yeah, but I love it. Do you? It's like crack. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried it. Yeah, <laughs> no, neither have I. Just disclaimer. <laughs> Hire me still. When you were younger. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so what? Young story, young story, younger you, you went to school, did you go uni? No. No, fair enough, fuck uni. Did A-levels. Okay, fine, what did you do that in? I only got one. It's <laughs> all right, I only got three GCSEs. Performing arts, I mean, it's Acting. led on, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Result. So you, after that, what, you went straight into work or not? Yeah, I went straight into work, I did theatre and education. Love that. So I was going around schools doing plays on drugs uh, oh don't take crack cocaine oh so I thought you meant yeah. you were doing them on drugs no, no, so I was no. like go on <laughs> it was so. about drugs then we do a little workshop oh yeah don't, don't smoke do kids yeah you'll don't, die yeah don't get pregnant yeah yeah we used yeah. to do like plays like that riveting going around the country I used to love that so what did you want to do when you grow up I think I wanted to be a actress stroke I know this is a bit weird mm. but I also wanted to be a police officer so I thought <sighs> I'd be really good in the community imagine you in like Hackney Walking I'd around love in like it. the little outfit. Bloody like right, babes. Yeah. <laughs> get in the back <laughs> of the doing? van. <laughs> Dirty dog. Go on, don't be silly. Let's just get you arrested. Yeah. <laughs> and then you'll be free in the I next couple of hours. you'd be quite good at that, you know. Wait, come on, babe. I'd get, get in. in the back of the van. Would you? Yeah, if you were like, come Stop on. being silly. I'd be like, oh, sorry. <laughs> Stop hitting my hat off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> come get on. Off. Stop being silly. I'd like the vest, I think. I'd be like the laughing policeman, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'd be like, I hear Alison down the road. She's having a joke <laughs> She's for prisoners. Here. I used to want to be working in a prison. Really? Yeah, it's only because I used to fancy felons, though. <laughs> but that's really They it. are the hottest, though, they, isn't they? Yeah. What is it about a bad boy? Sometimes I just think, mm, like... <laughs> Or what, like, you <laughs> murdered saving your mum. Like, oh, that's no. a flex. I'm not going for a murderer. Sorry, no. Uh, you stole from Lidl. <laughs> that's hot. 
<laughs> steal from the rich, give to the poor. Do you reckon? Yeah, yeah. Got to steal from the big companies. What is it about these bad boys that we are attracted I don't, to? But then I don't like them anymore. I think no, me bit, neither. I like, like the good ones. Yeah, like if you're going to date a drug dealer, it's all funny when you're young. And then when, what, when you're 40, are they still going to be drug dealing? That's very I true. I think, how are we going to pay our taxes? I'm going to have to pay it. <laughs> Exactly. not you they're the ones who are like hanging on you while you're paying for everything yeah they're like giving you a cuddle from behind you see yeah. those that happens good all the time. for you the yeah. girl's got the purse she's <laughs> paying for the mcdonald's and Here then go, the boyfriend behind is like doing that little cuddle yeah yeah and you know they've got no it's money disgusting yeah <laughs> hell in there here you go any young children watching just get a man that works in finance or something yeah a lawyer or just anyone rich really <laughs> I want to clear up the rumours. Is there rumours? There's a rumour, oh right? Before, uh, on the street. Yeah, what's this word yeah, on the street? On the street, on the papers, mm. on the Twitter, mm. that you are hosting the next Big Brother. <gasps> Can you confirm Do you think deny? I could yes. confirm it if, if I was? No. Right here and now? Yeah, no. But I think you could you could give us a little... Do you know who's doing it? Because I could see Ryland doing it, to be fair. Ryland would be amazing. He, I mean, he, he did the bit on the side, though. What's it called? Um, well, you know what? Ryland wants it, and he would be amazing okay. at it. But it's on ITV2 now, so maybe oh. they're looking for someone, a bit of ITV talent. Oh, like me. Talent. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so you know, if I have know. to, Alison, <laughs> I will do it. I think you'd be great. Do you think you could I smash agree. it? I agree. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I want, I'm gonna I'm gonna test you out okay, now. A little on, audition. Yeah. I want you All to right. just say this. Yeah. Oh, is Grace. Yeah. You are live on ITV too. Okay. Please do not swear. <clears throat> this is Grace. You are live on ITV too. Do not swear. <laughs> How was that? I yeah. would give you the job. Yeah, yeah, I'd give me the job I too. I would give you the job right now. And you have the hard-hitting questions as well. Yeah, so, yeah. so imagine I've just come out of the yeah. um, Big Brother house. Okay, fine. I did have an affair with yeah. three people. Okay. What are you going to say to me? One was... Okay. One, there was three people Allison, I had sex with. Any plans in the future to close your legs? <laughs> <laughs> How's that? No. No. <laughs> Yeah, fine. Interview done. You I mean, can walk that, off. Was that, that was hard hitting. Yeah, yeah. Tears that got me right fell. there. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I'd love it. Maybe more than You'd going into the house. You'd be great. I can cook. Do though. you know what? It's what? It's one of those shows, isn't it? That I personally don't realize. I don't know why they took it off. Why did they take that off? No, but you know what? What? I have. <laughs> what <laughs> you know when it comes back on i think it's gonna it, i don't know because i think you're not gonna be able to drink you won't be able to smoke how do you know that because on love island you cut you can have one glass of wine i think that's not even touching the sides yeah but big brother might be different it better be because they better have a smoking area because that's where all the tea happens it's where they go it to is. chill out and slag everyone off yes yeah i'd even start smoking for it <laughs> Fuck it, give me a, a Marlboro Gold or something. I'll be honest with you, I did used to like hanging out with the smokers. It, is, it was so yeah. much more fun. Exactly. I used to go and stand there and not smoke. <laughs> no one Just was there. Be on my own. Like, <laughs> Hello? I, have, did you ever watch any of the other like celebrity big brothers or anything? Yes, after? I did watch quite a few of them actually. What's I, your favourite one? My favourite big brother. I liked Ryland when he won. Ryland's an icon. Yeah, that was really good. He's amazing. I love Who's him. Who's else did I liked the whole David moment. Do you remember that? <gasps> David's <is> dead. dead. <laughs> yeah, that I was. I actually watched that live. Amazing. Yeah, and I, I was like. I watched that live and I was like, what is going on? It was like comedy of errors. It was errors. Like Armageddon. I it was, was like, I don't know so what's going good. on. In Cre Tiffany was an icon. Wasn't she? That was one of I my favourite she had, she, um, she had merch saying David's dead and then he actually died. So she had to take it <laughs> off. For a, for a week and then she put it back on. <laughs> did she? Yeah, yeah, oh, she's making the money. Oh, bless her. Fuck it. Do you know, I actually met Rylan once. Did you? Yeah, awful story. What happened? Um, we were at an event, Yeah, obviously, and I I actually, I did see his teeth before I saw him <laughs> and I thought, that's fucking Rylan. I was like, that is, and my mum loves Rylan, so yeah. I was like, I've got to get a picture. I hate to be that person, but I have to be, because if I go home and my mum's like, you didn't even get a picture... <laughs> I'd have been in a hostel for the night. <laughs> so I went up to him and I was a bit drunk and I was a bit nervous and I just like words vomited. And he was like, hello, you all right? And I was like, 
hi, I'm Grace. He's like, what do you do? And I was like, I talk about chlamydia on the internet. Genuinely <laughs> spoken about it once. And he was like, okay, do you want to get a picture? And I was like, yeah. So you knew what you wanted. Yeah. And then I walked off and was like, why did I just, oh, why did I mind. just say that? <laughs> why on earth did I? So now I'm really scared I'll meet him again. And he'll be like, oh, do you know what? Ryland is one of the nicest people in showbiz. He's he such a nice man. Oh, and he would have loved to have, taking a picture with you he's so nice sort of gassing me up Alison. was you was you gassed up though? you know i afterwards, was afterwards i was sent it to all my group chats did so i was you? like i just had a little combo and did like, your mom get the picture yeah yeah she, she, she put it on her facebook i think she sent it all to her mate she was like grace is doing really well now uh, how proud is your mom of you though grace no no it's taking the piss now though no Alison. seriously like, is she really proud no no so uh she lives for it she'll tell every bagging area of sainsbury's she got tiktok gk barry type it in when you get home <laughs> <laughs> or like, I'll get a picture with someone and they'll go, do you think they want a picture with me? Mother Barry. And I'm like, I'm not sure on that. But you can, <laughs> you can ask them. Yeah, she, she thinks she's a star as well. <laughs> she does. She goes around and she's like, I think someone recognises me. <laughs> I'm like, you've been in two videos and on the podcast and that's it. But it's Do fine. you know what? Your mum sounds like my mum because my mum's dream was to be famous. <laughs> Your so mum's I loving was, you. She yeah. was like living her dream through me. <laughs> That's all she ever wanted. How did your mum react when you started, like when you were on this morning or whatever? Was you, right, no, no, no. This is pre-question. When you went on Big Brother, was your yeah. mum like, Alison, please? Because sometimes she, people no, she were was like... over the moon. Oh. She was literally <laughs> yeah. over the moon. I heard that on the day that I went into hiding before yeah. you go into Big Brother, three days beforehand, I heard that the press was at her house and she was like loving it. She was like opening the bathroom window going, no comment. <laughs> Like, no, she was <laughs> she was like all over it. She was like, don't say a word. She was going around the neighbours going, if anyone comes to you and starts asking questions about Alison Hammond, please just say just, no comment. Yeah. Just don't <laughs> she ask loved about it. it. I love that. And then that. when she came to see me out at the Big Brother house, she was just like, you could see oh. the pride just oozing out of her. She loved it. That is so, because if I went on Big Brother, my parents would be like, change your name <laughs> and don't bother coming back. <laughs> She, she loved it honestly so she did it. obviously she's she's not here anymore but i know she'd be absolutely buzzing if she knew what my career oh my god was doing yeah. right now probably hot sweats yeah i love it's, that it's bittersweet really because like this was all for her so the fact that she's not here anymore really like oh. i feel like she still knows i think she's yeah still here. i always believe that yeah yeah she's living on it she? <laughs> yeah she's like that's she it. actually said before she died so my mom had cancer mm. and she actually said before we died i was in the hospital we were talking and I said, oh, she went, you do realise I'm going to always be with you. I was like, oh, thanks, Ma. I says, yeah, but not all the time, yeah. obviously. <laughs> you know, when I'm with a fella. like You can I'm look someone, away, yeah. She went, no, I'm going to be there all the time. <laughs> and honestly, it really tickled me. Oh. No, because now every time you're thinking, I don't think oh, we can no. do this. Yeah, I think we've got to close the blinds or something. I'm like, get off me. <laughs> You've get been off celibate me. since. <laughs> My yeah. mum's watching. <laughs> <laughs> now you've done drag race or you're doing drag race no it's i've done it now out. it's actually out it's gone the, the, the episode's how gone how was it i was a judge it was amazing i had the baddest dress on <laughs> i looked so good i'm not gonna lie my hair was on point of course you're on drag race it was a, it was iconic love that That was a moment yeah in my, i was so i was i've never been so starstruck to do a show in my life and then when you go and film it You've got a massive dressing room. We had the biggest dressing room. Really? And then they give you like loads of presents, like really good stuff. Like Hi, hood and makeup, perfume. I had this bottle of champagne that was in the shape of a lipstick. What? I still got that in my living room. It's amazing. And it was just such an experience. The light in there was unbelievable. Yeah, I've bet. never seen lighting like I'd it. I'd be sweating It was like core. literally lights, lights, lights. But you won't sweat. Why? Because they've oh, got these why? massive air conditioner things because they're oh, drag so queens they make sure it's freezing cold in there Ooh. but i loved it <laughs> it was amazing that's mental yeah rupaul how so in real life what's amazing what's like scoop? obviously yeah, she looks amazing yeah of course. but then she came up to me and she went you are so beautiful that's i was brilliant. like are you actually joking <laughs> it was save a lot that on tape please it was it. a lot that's to take mental. in and then she went and sat down and then the weirdest thing is You've got to perform. You don't really talk like this. You've got to perform outwards. So they'll be talking to you and you've got to and face got to forward. Like, yeah. like with me and you, imagine me and you doing this podcast like right. this. Oh, it's so lovely to meet you, Gracie. 
It's just weird, isn't that's it? That's so like, awkward. Doing it like this, like, and that's how the show is. If you watch the show, they're all talking forward. Oh yeah, because you never see them. You like, talk, they talk like this. One, oh, that's <laughs> so funny. <gasps> yeah, well, here, and then they talk forward. It was the weirdest thing because really, I just want to go look at me. You laugh at me. Look at me. <laughs> it was weird. Let me know. But so it was. Who it was, was your favourite queen? I probably have to go with Baby. Yeah, absolutely yeah. loved her. I she agree. looked so good. Yeah. And I just had a, <laughs> yeah. I just had an affinity yeah. to her. Do you an know attraction. Yes. You were pulled But they were all her. amazing. They yeah. were all amazing. So if you're not baby, he was shit. I love a bit of baby. Yeah. <laughs> and you've written two, but look, I have done my research. You've written two books. Well done, Grace. Thank you. You've been Thank saved. You. <laughs> I try. I can write a book because here's my thing, right? I'd be like. You could. Well. I'd Everyone's be... got a book inside them. Oh, Christ. It's true. Okay. You have. I maybe I will. Maybe an autobiography. I couldn't do like a. What about memoirs? Memoirs are moments What's in your that? life. Memoirs are just like <sighs> like moments that were really funny. I've, like, and... I've got chlamydia in first year. <laughs> that would be my memoir. That's nothing else. <laughs> oh, so it's just loads of like, different... like moments that happened in your life. You don't. You've oh. got loads. I have. You're you right. Got this moment oh, in like time. And Alison Hammond. Yeah, your podcast days. Oh, you know, you maybe talk about when your I'm forty. Just talk about amazing moments in your life that were, you know, inspirational to you. Or but is it not hard to write life? a book? Because a book's long. Right. Th this is how I wrote my book. Right. Tell so me. my memoirs, all I did was I spoke like situations into my phone. Oh, there'd be a lot of likes though. I'd be like, and like, or can <laughs> you edit fine. them out? Okay. So you can, you do all your little likes and you, you yeah. talk it through. Then I met a ghostwriter. Yeah. It was amazing. I sent her all my footage. I go, make something out of that, babes. And they did. And then she made it into a book oh, and made I it mu hate so much job. better. And then I reread it and went, no, I don't like that, babes. <laughs> change that to that. So, and they Keep listen fired. to you because it's your book. They go, okay. And they have to change it the way you want it. That's a shame. I, I think you'd enjoy that. I think it could be like therapy. Yeah, it's really good th th therapy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's really good therapy. What? Are you going to do another one anytime soon? I've got one more in me, I think. Oh. Go on. I think maybe a novel. What do you reckon? Oh, Jacqueline Wilson. Yes. Pop off. I think I might have a novel. Yeah, fine. In me. What are we talking? Like a crime? It's got to be about dating. Oh. It's got to be a bit of, it's got to be a love in it. Yeah. Maybe something bad happens along the way. I don't know. You got any, got any dating tips? Got any, you single um, what? What's the two? Like, in what sense? Like. So, are you in a relationship, single, complicated? Might be. Oh. <laughs> No, okay. I'm in a relationship. Love that. So you must have got him somehow. And it wasn't putting <laughs> your thumb out at the end of the street. So you want to know how I got him? Yeah, how'd you get him? I just sent babes. Do you reckon you can handle this juice? What? <laughs> he said, yeah. <laughs> right. He's like, I'm all over So it. is that how I should approach? Literally. Right. That's it. You've got to be confident, haven't you? Yeah, can you handle like these bones? When you see someone, you think, that is my person. you got to go for it. You yeah. can't let that person go. Fine. You know, and when I see yeah. someone, I just think that is my that is my person. Love there. at first sight vibes. A little bit, yeah. Ooh, was yours bit. love at first sight? A little bit. Oh, that's quite yeah, cute. Yeah, I don't think it was <laughs> love at first sight on uh, their behalf. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were a little bit starstruck, but I had to I said just I'm tell me when you're not. I'm a person too. Yeah, don't yeah, worry. Tell me when you're not starstruck and then we can... <laughs> You know, we've got time. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Oh, I love that. Yeah, We're dating connoisseur. Because yeah. I've only had I've had two dates in my life ever. Really? And yeah. are you with the person that yeah, you had the two dates? Yeah, How lovely is that? I know. Oh no! First one, I went on an ice skating one. And I thought, fuck, never seen you again. <laughs> Uh, but the second one, we went on a date and I thought, mm, that's quite nice, actually. And you're still with him? Yeah. Oh, is that lovely? Of course. Odd. How long have you been with him? Only four months. But oh, so it's quite new. Many years to come. Yeah. Oh, babes, I'm so happy for you. Yeah. When I'm like old and creaky, you can just shove me in the bath and then crane me what back out. What does he out. make of your, like, per your personality and your humour? Because you're so funny. He, Do he's you actually quite funny. Him? As, no, he's actually, people prefer him over me. So that's <laughs> a bit of violation. Really? Yeah, like he met all of my podcast guys and they were like, oh, he's actually better than you. And I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. Maybe he should do a podcast. No. I want the women away from that man. I'm keeping it. I'm not keeping him secret. I'm doing ads of him. But I've got to bat him off. He's on private on Instagram. Is he? I'm going, you're not having followers on that. No, 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 no. He doesn't want followers. No, Look at your bows. Look at you. Yeah, he wants his fine piece. What can you say? What can you do? So what, what would your advice be? If you said to someone, right, here's how 
to maintain a relationship, yeah. what would your advice be? Just treat them like they're the first person you've ever loved. Aww. Treat them, handle their heart with care. That's what I would say. That is so, so even cute. when you're angry, yeah. just be careful of their heart. Yeah, Protect I probably it could like it's your heart. Take that advice, actually. Yeah. yeah. Don't be nasty no. in the heat of the moment. Just wait. Are you like that Breathe. in arguments? You're not very, like, you're not nasty. No, do you know what? I would just, I'd say you're being mean to me. Oh. <laughs> I'll say things like you're that. You're really upsetting me. You're really being mean to me. That's a good one because it's kind of like it makes them feel yeah. bad too. Yeah, I don't go into the, you know, I used to when I was younger. Remember, yeah. I'm a little bit older now, but, you know, I've developed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've developed, you know, you've got to have growth in your life, haven't mm. you? So, you know, I've assessed how I was in certain other relationships yeah. and I've kind of changed things up a little bit. I'm going to take that advice now. If I get in an argument now, nice. again, I'll be like, you're being very mean to me. <laughs> And, and you'll I see them. Be, very... They'll be really taken aback. They'll be like, oh. Sorry about that. Yeah, maybe I, I need to change myself. Ooh. Yeah. Fine. Just, just you know, protect people's hearts. That's yeah. all I'd say. Even hold in the, the heat hold. of the moment. When some, when someone, in the heat of the moment, mm. try and just breathe, wait, and see if you still feel like that after an hour. That's a good, a good, yeah. I always do that. When I get angry, I really regret it like two hours later. Yeah, exactly. I get really so why do that? Just like breathe through and say, listen, in this heat of this argument, yeah. can we just hold it, pause it there? I don't want to be with you right now. Yeah. Go away and let's talk about this in a couple of hours don't time. don't drink and argue. Yeah, exactly. Because I don't remember what I say when I drink and argue. <laughs> You're like, you and called you... me ugly. I'll be like, did I? <laughs> So you can never take that back. Oh, you can't. You yeah. actually can't. And it's just a little piece of their heart taken away. And oh, they never, they never get that back. None left, bless him. Oh. We're going to work on that now. That's fine. I've work sorted it. Work on it, it. Tell you, it will help all your relationships. Sold. Is there anything else you want to do in the future? Any big What do I want to do in plans? the future? I'd love to go and live in LA for a bit. Really? Yeah, you want to move out I love LA. Yeah, I really like LA. Of and I'd like to go work skid there. row. Fine. Yeah. Love Get that. a big house with a swimming pool. Yeah. Love that. Do you like Why America? Not? Is that I, the... I love the food in America. I love the people. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just like LA. I just love everything about it. I love the clothes. Oh. Yeah, I just want to... one. Like, even for like a couple of years. And I always said I'd wait till Aiden got to an age. Yes. Yeah. I think we're nearly... We'll soon be there. You can do it, Aiden. So maybe in a couple of years... Yeah, pop I would, off over yeah, there. Yeah, pop over to see what happens in LA. I feel like America would love you though. I think. Have you broken America yet? Like, I think I've broken America, America a couple think, of times. Yeah, I feel like, especially TikTok, <laughs> everyone's seeing yeah. you hundred percent. Yeah, a lot of Americans like contact me on Instagram to say you're so funny. You could have done a, a James want. Corden. Yeah, because he's moving back here, isn't well, let's he? Let's see what happens. Let me let me uh, have a word. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> let him know. Uh, the Late Late Show with Alison Hammond. Yeah, oh my. yeah. It's a ring. It's, it's got a ring. It's a big ring. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Okay, the last <laughs> segment of this pot, I'm about to say show, I don't know who think <laughs> I am. The last segment of this show, uh, the last bit of this podcast, right, I ask everyone, if you had one bit of life advice to give me, to Ooh. take me through my travels of life, what would it be? What a lovely question. Thank you. I wish you'd told me before, because then I could have really, really thought of something deep. poignant. Well... Listen, not everyone's Gandhi. What can you do? Oh, uh, wait. Listen, Grace. Yes. If it doesn't fill your heart with joy and yep. happiness, don't do it. Alcohol, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have a drink. Thank you, Alice. <laughs> Fine. That's, that's my piece of advice. Just enjoy everything that you do. If you're not enjoying it, don't walk do away. It. Yeah. Fine. It's not all about the money. It's not all about the money. And that, is, that is so very true. Yeah. It's not all about the, the money. As Jesse J once said, it's not about the money, money, money. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming on Alison it's been a pleasure it's been a pleasure I've, I've loved every minute I won't top this so I'm just going to finish the podcast now it's been great <laughs> thank you all for, Mic drop. for watching <laughs> yeah see ya um, if you've been watching give it a like and subscribe and if you've been listening give it a five star review and a follow definitely five stars yeah come on now Alison said <laughs> see ya <laughs>